Ah, hello, good evening, Dinky Do. It's Scotty McClure with you live, and we are, of course, on Facebook Live. So there we are. It's Sunday night, Sunday the 20th of November 2016. Nothing gets past me, you see. I can tell you all these things. And here we are for an hour together. This is the show that's getting talked about so much, and this is the show that's getting watched. This could be the future of television and radio rolled into one. So there you are. Right. Now, you've got me only until 11 o'clock. We've so much to talk about tonight and so little time to do it in. Now, I thought it was important. This is only show nine, so we're still work in progress. But I thought it was very, very important that uh, we have a share period. So I thought if we have three share periods, one at 10.15, one at 10.30, and then we can have one at 10.45. Andy Grant there, good evening. George Raffin, Dinky Doos is James Ford, Craig Dunsmore's watching, Jim Clark's watching, and uh, Laurie LD is watching up in Stornoway. Hi, Scotty, says Gary. And uh, James Grant says, Dinky do fantastic. Jen Perrette's watching. Uh, fantastic, Scotty. Good evening, Scotty. Oh, all the comments. Julianne Scott's watching. Stephen Howie. What's happening, Scotty boy? Alan Blacklaw's watching. And Laurie LD. Good evening, Scotty, from sunny Stornoway. I love it. So there you are. So if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome to you to Facebook Live. I hope you saw the promotional video this morning. And if you see anything by Scotty McClue, Please, I beg of you, share it and share it and share it. It's lovely of you to like it, but share it as well. Very, very important. This is a massive, massive experiment in the future of the media and in the future of broadcasting. So what we're hoping to do is get the biggest audience possible. Now, we are global. We are worldwide. We're live on Facebook, Facebook Live. Nothing gets past me again. And uh, therefore, if you can share it with all your contacts, then we will get a substantial audience and our debates will be of the best. Remember, this is free. You don't have to pay for it. If you would like to make a donation, if you go to www.scotty-mcclue.com and uh, stick in a fiver or a tenner or 50 grand or whatever you think it's worth. I have to say, there's interest from investment banks in Scotty McClue. They're beginning to wake up and realise that Scotty McClue is worth a lot of money to them and to you. Now then, David Hemsley's watching. Fantastic. Ian Cook's watching up in Dundee there. Fantastic guy. And uh, the number of people watching the video is increasing. So there we are. Thankfully, I say it's very, very important. Tell everybody about it. Now, I'm just going to check how Skype is doing here. Because I think, there we are, so we're online at Skype, very, very important, and we'll get Skype up, and what to do, I'm scotty.mcclue at Skype. If you want to talk to me throughout this hour, please feel free to do so. The only thing I would say is, please, no silliness, no time wasters, because our time is so short and it's so very, very valuable. Now then, <clears throat> what are we talking about tonight? I hear you scream at your screens. You scream at your screens. We're talking tonight about the refurbishment or the proposed refurbishment of Buckingham Palace, which is the residence of Her Majesty the Queen in London, the London residence of Her Majesty the Queen and the administrative headquarters of the monarchy. Now, this is going to cost an estimated 369 million quid although although i know a fair bit about taking old buildings to bits and probably when you start to take the building to bits you'll find that that may increase so we're looking at 369 million pounds now what i think here which is fantastic is that the queen should not have to pay for that so there you are. I think we should pay for that as taxpayers because we have the joy of having the Queen as our monarch. So her residence should be paid for by us. That's what I'm saying. If you agree or disagree, please feel free. You can Skype me if you want and we can discuss it. We've been in Buckingham Palace since about 1837 when Queen Victoria came to the throne at the age of 18. And that became the residence of the British monarch. Uh, knock him down, says Michael McGuigan. What a lot of nonsense. Should we start with a loyal toast, Scotty, says Craig Dunsmore. Oh, well, <laughs> I'll have one of these. I have a cup of tea here, so I shall say, 
Her Majesty the Queen. Hmm. How marvellous. And this is a message that I need to get out to our nationalist friends. Yes, of course, Scotland can survive as an independent country. No problem at all. And uh, of course, economically, it would be beneficial to Scotland to be free of Westminster. But we must take the monarchy with us. So there you go. That's what we're talking about. Now, who have we got here? Mandeep is calling. Hello, Mandeep. Dink you do. You're through to Scotty McClure. Good evening. Yeah, I, I wrote you a poem, if that's okay. That's fantastic. Oh, Scotty McClure, the things that I do. I jump from the highest heights, tackle the mightiest of mites. Your compliments make me blush. Now, don't put me under the same brush. I love you with all my heart. You're just a fart. <laughs> Thank you, man. Deep, very, very nice indeed. Uh, Mikhail Kelly is watching. Fantastic. Austerity not hit buck hoose and trident, says George Raffin. No, no, George, this is a different setup. Trust me. I agree with you, Scotty. There's plenty of folk in council houses that don't pay a penny but get new kitchens and windows and things. Hi, mate. Scotty for Freedom, says Michael Yule. Louise Sullivan's watching. Alan Brown is watching over in Washington. Dinky do to you, Alan. Lovely to hear from you. Food banks and pensioners unable to heat their homes and 329 million to do up the palace. Yeah, sounds a fair deal, says David Jimison. What you don't realize, David, is that is our palace. That's the family silver. That could prevent people from starving in the future. And the reason we've got food banks is because we're under a Westminster Parliament, not because we have a monarchy. Trust me, the monarchy costs us 52 pence a year. That's pretty reasonable in my book, I'll tell you that. Tricia Freeman's watching. Uh, Joe Fraser Walls uh, is watching. Fantastic. Derek McIntyre's watching. Very, very fine broadcaster there, Derek McIntyre. Bit of a top man, I say. <coughs> G. Hamilton. Monarchy are nothing more than high-class scroungers, Scotty. There's more of a financial drain than there is profitability. No, not true, actually. False. So there you go. As I say, the cost is 52 pence a year and bring in absolute billions to the country. If people have money, which they do, then they need to do it themselves. But they're the biggest benefit cheats in Britain, the royals, says Louise Sullivan. Not actually true, Louise. They certainly are far from that. They're very, very, very hard working. The Queen's been working uh, solidly for about uh, 70 years. I'd rather pay to do up Scotty's house than the Queen's, says James Grant. It is not actually the Queen's house. It is the residence of the British monarchy, and it's the residence of the head of state. But in actual fact, the house itself belongs to us. Here's Mandeep calling again. Hello, Mandeep. We only usually Hello? allow one call in the evening, but nice to hear you, and thank you for your lovely volume. Hello? 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 So there we go. Right. Uh, Scotty for King, let's start a revolution, says Barry James Jordan. Jen Wilson Hilton's watching, dinky do. The Queen's been on the throne for 70 years. Well, she hasn't actually. She's been on the throne for 63 years. But what's that between friends? Uh, Alex Roberts is watching, dinky do. Chris McCauley, in fact, the royals give a lot more than they take. Chris, you're 100% correct. Uh, Katrina's watching. Hello, lovely to hear from you. Tell 10 to tell 10. I will do, bud, says Andy Grant. Coming up in about seven minutes' time at 10.15, if we can all do a share. But remember, any of you can share this at any time you like. Scotty McClure is live on Facebook Live. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome to the program. 30 years experience of broadcasting, and I thought I may as well share it with you because it's very important that we have our media. It's very important that people realize that the way ahead for the media is pure interactivity. Fantastic. Talking to you. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Andy Grant, I say to you, you're hoping we appreciate all the shares. Yes, of course we do. Fantastic. Tonight, what are we talking about? I hear you scream at your screen and I say we're talking about the refurbishment of the British monarchy's headquarters, Buckingham Palace in London. 329 million quid and I think we need to get on with that and the people should pay. It is not the Queen's house. She does not own it. She is a curator and for that we are thankful to her. 
Mark Cruden's watching. Dinky do, Mark. Lovely to hear from you. Gaz Rolly Johns is watching. That's fantastic. Tess Tickler is watching. That's what we like. Tell everyone, tell 10 to tell 10, that Scotty McClue is with you live on Facebook Live. It's very important. If you spread the word, it increases our audience many, many fold. That's how social media should work. So don't just be a passenger on this program. Get texting, get sharing, get talking, get emailing, emailing. Tell everybody that. So there you are. Andy Taylor's watching. Thank you. And uh, we just had a share. Scotty, dab, and I'll watch next week. You'll be watching next week anyway. All right. But I will dab for you since it's you. There we are. Quick dab. Uh, get the cashmere scarf on, Scotty, says Mark Cruden. Fantastic. Mark knows about this. This was a lovely, lovely present from Johnston's of Elgin. If ever you're wanting really, really high quality stuff, guys, Johnston's of Elgin, that's where to go. So there we go. Should I have a tea or a coffee, says Gaz Rolly Jones. <coughs> well, Gaz, I have a tea. Beautiful. Danoon pottery. Very fine. Argyle pottery. Can you see it there? Fantastic stuff. Scotty McClure's live. That's your phrase. Cheers, Scotty. Scotty, if you take your hat off, I'll cheer. So there we are. Who have we got here? Lisa Ann is calling. Hello, Lisa Ann. You're live on Scotty McClure. Right, there we go. Remember, no music, so don't phone in if you're going to play music. It's not acceptable, won't be accepted. You will be cut off, and then you will be blanked and blocked. Okay, that's what happens. All right, folks. Scotty, I think your mansion's much bigger than Lizzie's palace. You're certainly better dressed. <laughs> Had a friend recently he said, I'd like to invite you down for lunch, but don't come looking like a millionaire. So there we go. Nice mug and tea it shall be, says Gaz Rolly Jones. Fantastic. Lisa Ann. <laughs> uh, all that patched a belter, says Clark Marshall. Tremendous stuff. So there we are. And remember, guys, don't phone and play music. It's just stupid. It's just real nonsense. It, you have to be a real, total and utter half-witted idiot to play the music all right if you can't accept that then you will get blocked and you have to go and i don't want to block people i want everybody to be able to take advantage of this wonderful program i want everybody to be able to say dinky do scotty mcclue i watch him on a sunday night on the radio come television come facebook live all that sort of stuff you've got yourself a real share my man says clark Angel Long will be ringing next, says James Grant. Scotty, do you like white puddings, says Mark Cruden. Yes, I do, Mark, but I'm on a very strict diet at the moment to try and get down to 20 stone. Uh, never saw this guy in my life, says Dean Barr. Dean Barr, you're obviously from another planet, and we say thank you on uh, behalf of all the interplanetary people. Uh, evening, Scotty. I say paying for Buckhouse is unreasonable. No, I don't think it is actually, because while we are attached to the United Kingdom and the no people that let us down at the referendum uh, can take the hit for it. In actual fact, maybe we should get the no people to pay for Buckingham Palace, but the Queen should certainly not pay. Andy says, I want for Dax Simpson. Uh, the Prince of Wales wore our suits. Of course, I used to wear your suits as well. Dax Simpson suits, beautiful suits. Hound's tooth check. I wore three piece um, and it was brown in colour. Richard Frediani, a wonderful, wonderful man. Um, top newsman, editor of one of our finest news agencies. He is watching. So there you are, our finest news programmes, I should say. And they uh, are one of our finest television companies. So there you go. You've got a follow. Oh, you're too intriguing, says Dean Bar. Dean, trust me, Scotty McClure has been around, well, essentially for about 30 years. So if you've never seen me, you stick with it, buddy, because you can listen, you can learn. We inform, we educate, and we entertain. So there you are. I have a very, very high IQ, which I like to share with the nation and make up for those who are wits and those who are 50% wits. Dinky do, big boy, says Calder Hughes. Good to see you. Lovely to see you, Calder. And I hope you are well. Dinky do to you. Kenny McLean's watching. Dinky do, Kenny. 
Hello, Scotty. On behalf of the calories diet, take a chocolate cheese cut, cut it in half, chocolate cheese cake, cut it in half, and then because it's half the calories, you can have twice as much. Totally agree. Let the no voters pay for Buckingham Palace. Fantastic. The people that voted no. Uh, Gordon Sterling says, Austin Allegra for sale will swap for a chainsaw. No time wasters, please. I drove an Allegro Vanden Pla. There you are. Thank you, dear Scotty, from Sunny View Park. Mr. Controversial's calling. Hello, Mr. Controversial. Hello, Mr. Controversial. What can I do for you, sir? Hello, how are you? Hello? 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 Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, come on then. What can I do for you? Okay, well, well. <laughs> right. I'm no person, Scotty, and I agree we should pay for the home of the Queen. Jim, what do you mean I am no person? Everybody is somebody on Scotty McClure's program. Hello? Hello, Dinky Doo? Hello, Dinky Doo? You're through to Scotty McClure? Can you hear me? We Lizzie needs a stair lift, because she's no spring chicken these days. She reminds me of my granny. Well, we Lizzie is um, 90. So they are 91, in fact. She's coming up 91, or is she 91? We are the people. And uh, 18 others have just shared your video as well as me. I hope you appreciate it. Of course we appreciate it. What's the time? Oh, time for a mass share. Can everybody share now? So look at your Facebook page and where it says share. You share. Click on it right now. Click like and share or love and share. Yes, very important. <coughs> if you can do that, that's a share point for the evening. Here's somebody calling. Hello, you're listening to Scotty McClure. What can I do for you? Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Oh, Think you do? Excellent. Can you hear me? Hello? Right, if you're calling folks, you'll need to turn your own sound down, or we'll just chuck the Skype calls, okay? So turn your own sound down. Here we go. Hello, you're live in Scotty McClure. Who's that? Hello? Scotty McClure, what can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Scotty. Yes, hello. Turn your sound down. Can you hear me? Right, we'll just cut you off, I think, actually. You're just wasting time. Right, there you go. Uh, now, Val Hansen has shared. Thank you. And Joe Fraser Wells. Uh, I say Dinky Doo says Trisha Freeman. Tremendous. Well, there we go. Who have we got here? Right, here's Nathan calling. Hello, Nathan. Dinky Doo. You're on Scotty McClure. Uh, we're told you not to do that. Told you not to do that, Nathan. So what I'm going to do with Nathan now is we will just bin him. So, Nathan, you will never be on this program again, la. What a shame, just because you're too stupid. Okay, that's that. So, Nathan's gone. Uh, where is he? Yup, that's it. And he is blocked. Right, we won't be hearing from Nathan again. Here's Numpty Heed calling. This should be worth a listen. Hello, Numpty Heed. You're live on Scotty McClure. <laughs> How's it going, Scotty? How are you getting on, son? Are you okay? I thought I better phone in now before the numpties half hour's finished. <laughs> well, we've just had the numpties phoning in, and we've just blocked an idiot who didn't understand you cannot play music. There's some word there well, he did not understand. Well, I've been trying to get through since 10 o'clock sharp, but it's been too busy. We're very, very busy tonight, Numpty Heed. How are you doing? Are you dinky do? Indeed. Now, what well, Scotty, I'm getting old. I'm getting old now. You're getting old now. Tell me this, Numpty Heed. You're an old Scotty McClure listener for about 25 years, right? Absolutely. Yes. What do you think of the new show? Well, Scotty, you need to get the, some of the old characters back. Like yes. Big Mappy. Well, we will do. I think once they hear about it, this is why everybody has to keep sharing and sharing and sharing. Well, let's hope they're no deed, because that was over 20 years ago. It was, absolutely. And we'll have another 20 years of Scotty McClure. Oh, no, no, Scotty. Uh, I don't think I could last that long. Definitely, of course you can. What's wrong with these definitely, daft definitely. people that are spoiling the show? What's that, Numpty Heed? <coughs> oh, losing your Numpty Heed. 
the game is what was you can donate 37 pence to your fund oh 37 pence fantastic if you go to paypal that will be great that's all but well from my taxpayers uh, wages my general right uh, if you can spare 37 pence not to heed i'll take that <laughs> That's all for good you, right, Scott. Listen, there'll be people wanting to get through. Absolutely. I don't want to hold up the phone lines. Right, dinky do. Dinky do. Dinky do to you, la. Right, there we go. Numb to you, an old colour. Good evening, Scotty. I went for a wee bite to eat up the west side of Sucky Hall Street earlier. Brrr. I think I'll get a wee pair of fingerless gloves. There you go. They seem like a godsend. The same as your good self, dinky do. Uh, Trisha Freeman says, Nathan, tut, tut, tut. She thinks that was shocking. Hello, Scotty, I'm back. Get him off, says Ross. Well, he's off, he's blocked. He'll never be able to phone again now. They say Queen Elizabeth II is now England's longest reigning monarch, but she's only five foot four. <laughs> There's got to be a longer monarch somewhere. What about Edward Longshanks? There you are, he might be longer. Uh, now, who else have we got? Put your specs on upside down and I'll share, says Chris Malone. Oh, all right then. It's worth it just for you, Chris. There you go. Dink you do. Okay, get sharing. Fantastic. Listen to years ago. I used to really enjoy the late night shows. Hope you're still as good as Stan Gemmel. I would say we're probably better now, Stan, than we used to be. And we were fantastic before, as you know. Uh, Mackay or O'Hallon to start, says Chris. Yes, so there we are. A new hat, says Simple Alexander. Now, we've had it for about a week or so, Simple, so good stuff. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome to the programme. You're watching Scotty McClue, and you're listening to Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live, the country's top, I was going to say radio station, but the country or the world's top place to appear. I agree, says Josh. Cheeky dab, Scotty. Says Stephen. Well, we gave you that. Fine to hear you again, says George from Conhill in Banffshire. Dinky do, George. You're up in Banff in Scotland there. Please stop saying dinky do, says Chris Ann. We can't, Chris Ann. Dinky do is what we say. Blow a kiss, says Esther. <mwah> there you go, Esther, my dear. Scotty boy, says Lennon Houston. Patrick says, OMG. Scotty, how can we get you on the radio again, says Mark? Well, the trick to get on the radio, there must be a programmer there somewhere that thinks, I would like Scotty McClue for my radio station. So there we go. It's happening all the time. Evening, Scotty. Sorry, but I'm late for the show, says David Steele. Tut, tut, David. You must turn up in time. James Grant says, do you like cats? Yes, I love cats, James. I don't mind them at all. Hello from Belfast, says Jonathan Gold. Now, Jonathan Gold is one of the world's top broadcasters. If you ever get the chance to hear him, he does a lot of work in Ireland. But Jonathan Gold is a real, real top broadcaster. Uh, a fabulous DJ. So, dinky do to you, Jonathan Gold. Good evening, Scotty, says Sean Kelly. Do you like dogs? Says Jonathan Brown. Of course I do. Kenneth Patterson's watching. James McKelvey says, ha ha. A holiday for the captain, says Christopher Smith. You should be on the phone in on Clyde. That would be the thing, says Dean Barr. Ah, Dean, yes. I have what on Radio Clyde before? I used to do a killie on a Saturday night. But yes, a phone in on there would be fabulous. Where did you get the bonnet from? Did you fun it, says Josie. No, no, I bought it in Yorkshire. What is drama, says Rory? Drama is twofold, Rory. One, it's got all your entertainment functions and it also improves your personal communication. Do you actually think Braveheart's correct about William Wallace? Or did Robert the Bruce actually speak to a spider? Oh, Robert the Bruce spoke to a spider, Angie. There's no doubt about that, my dear. Uh, Jamie Stewart says, can we phone any time? Yes, you can, Jamie. You can Skype me, Scotty.McClue, but no silly stuff. When is your tree going up, Scotty, says Michael McGuigan. Well, I'll get the tree up for Christmas quite soon. When would you suggest we put the tree up? You can phone in and tell us. I think, Scotty, your radio in Dumbarton would be interested in your work. They have no doubt heard you before. Gary Marshall is the station owner, and you probably know him, Scotty. Yes, Steph McElherrin. Yes, I do know Gary Marshall, a very fine man. In fact, he gave me a programme about a year ago. We did a big Friday phone-in, so they are. Gives a royal wave, says Jarvis Butler. There you go, Jarvis. Ah, superb, says Josh. Matt steals the... Oh, no, not at all. I'm not coming out with that. 
90 fast minute winner <clears throat> i believe he should start are you doing a wee christmas special this year and you're reaccordion says angie thompson yes i might do that angie in fact i was talking to a, a real top broadcaster the other night who said why don't you do Hogmanay, Scotty McClue's Hogmanay bash? Um, you know, I don't know if I'd get it on the BBC. They'll probably be doing the usual thing. But uh, I think, uh, what's your thoughts on the Indy Camp carry on? Uh, well, no, fantastic. I remember the uh, vigil that used to be across from the old Scottish office until they got a Scottish Parliament. Can you send a get well wish to my son, says Sarah Carroll? I can, Sarah. Get well, old chum. Fantastic stuff, I am. Hi, Scotty. Sufyan says a shout out. Shout out to Sufyan Amin. Absolutely, of course. Lewis March on day. Stuart Coventry, what radio station are you on? I'm not on a radio station at the moment, Stuart. Here's Stevie calling. We'll see what he's saying. Hello, Stevie. Dink you do. You're through to Scotty McClure. How are you doing, Scotty? How are you getting on, buddy? Lovely to hear from you. Where are you calling from? Uh, I'm calling for Edinburgh, Scotty. For Edinburgh, tremendous. It's a very clear line. <laughs> ah, cheers, I, uh, I was just want to ask you something. This is a big, long shot. But, yes, uh, yes. When you were on a radio station about uh, 20 years ago. Yes. Scott uh, FM. Scott FM. My dad, <laughs> my dad phoned you one time and he said um, he was telling you about uh, that I wouldn't go to school. Yes. He wouldn't let me listen to your show. <laughs> uh, I was a ten at the time, eh? <laughs> and I used to refuse to go to school, Scotty, unless my dad let me listen to about half an hour of your show. Um, Fantastic. I'm 30 now, eh? So wow. <laughs> well, see you back, guys. You know, a lot of your generation are actually joining us, Stevie, and yeah. they're saying, you know, this is fantastic. We didn't know this existed because, see, Scotty's radio stations have never, ever replaced me. They've never done anything like it since. Aye. And there is only one Scotty McClue. And I think oh, the yeah. problem is they're not talking to the nation enough. They're not talking to the people who are kind enough to listen to them. That's right. You know, and I would urge everybody to come over to Scotty McClue on a Sunday night. If we get a big enough audience, we'll maybe do more shows during the week live on Facebook Live. Oh, that would be brilliant, aye. Because you're getting the radio and the telly here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, exactly. That's you look just how I imagined you to look, Scotty, I must say. look the same, man. <laughs> Everybody's you're telling me I haven't man. changed. But we don't wait on, of course, you know, as you, as you do when the years go on, you know. That's, <laughs> that's me in my 30s now, you know. Oh, I, you didn't look a day over 21, Scotty. Absolutely. <laughs> Listen, lovely to hear you, Stevie, and give your father Cheers, my Scotty. regards and thank him oh, for saying you. You'll not get to the school unless, uh, you know, <laughs> that's the way to do it. <laughs> and did you do to Fantastic. Dinky do, do la. There you are. How <laughs> tremendous. There's a man listen to Scotty McClue 20 years ago. Uh, I used to listen to We Fat Bob and Scotty. So here's Richard calling. Hello, Regents. Wait to let it come through here. Hello, Richard. You're live on Scotty McClue. Dinky do. Hello. Hi, Pat. How are you? Greetings from Vancouver. From Vancouver, Richard. This is tremendous. You, How are you doing, pal? Are you Vancouver Island or Vancouver? No, Vancouver, pal. Vancouver, that is fantastic. So you're listening to me in Canada? Yes, sir. In British Columbia? Yes, sir. <laughs> Do they still like calling it British Columbia? Yes, sir. <laughs> I would love to come and see your part of the world. I'd love for you to come here. I'll show you about, of course. It's fantastic. Tremendous. I believe it's beautiful. It's There's lots to see and do here, of course, and I'll show you around, and there's always something to do. And tell me, do you have programs like this in Canada? Do you have your own phone in? No. Really? Yes. Oh, you need this. We need to get a hold of the Canadians and say, you need to get your own phone in show here where the people talk. <laughs> We don't even get BBC Canada here or nothing. Usually when I watch BBC, it's on the uh, internet. It's on the internet. How oh, fantastic. Well, the yes, internet sir. is wonderful. What we're doing here is we're trying, it's an experiment. We've only been at it nine weeks. And okay. it, obviously it's fairly basic stuff. I've been broadcasting for around 40 years. 
and uh, right. a very very big name uh, in the in the Western world, uh, which is which is great stuff. But this is the first time we've done this because we want everybody on Facebook involved. So if you can tell everybody in Canada all about this, then that brings a fair bit of the audience, and this becomes the people's program. Gives us all a voice. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more. And I will get the word out here in Canada, especially in Vancouver. I will get the word out here about Scotty McClue for sure. Fantastic. Lovely talking to you. Love to Vancouver. You too, and hands across the sea. Dinky do. Bye bye. <laughs> Take care. To a great guy. Right there you go. Funny from Vancouver. And uh, good quality chat. Tremendous. Thank you very much for that. We really appreciate it. It's, it's amazing. Guys, if you see me looking up, I'm just looking at all the various screens I've got in front of me here. I'm doing everything myself. John Tom's watching. Scotty McClue for Prime Minister, says Dean Barr. Thank you very much, Dean. I'm not sure it's a job I would actually covet, but nevertheless, it's nice to be asked by the people. John Tom's, great businessman and broadcaster. He's watching there. Uh, Adam says, the best nine weeks of my life. So there we are. I'm going to tag all my family, says Angie. Yes, guys, tag, 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 tag. And right now it's half past ten. Half past ten I've got. Does your time agree with that? It's a share point in the program. So if you can share, 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 share. Everywhere on your Facebook page that you see Scotty McClue, share them, share them, share them with the rest of the world. Very important. Uh, there's a Hamilton in Canada. Yes, there is, Angie. Globalization of Scotty. Suraj says a shout out. Yes, indeed. Not asking the callers a topical question, Scotty. Yes, I am, Mark. I'm asking if we should be paying for doing up Buckingham Palace or if the Queen should pay. And I think we should pay because it is not the Queen's residence. She very kindly uh, curates it. It's ours, the Royal Palaces. Um, who else have we got? What's your poison, Scotty, says Elliot. I don't have poison. I eat healthily, Elliot. Who's this calling? Hello, are you I'm live in Scotty McLean? We should be paying for doing up Buckingham Palace or if the Queen should pay. And I... Queen's residence, she very... Right, there's somebody. Hello, it's can you hear me? Hello? Um, <laughs> right, there's somebody. can't actually hear it. He's listening. If you're coming on, guys, try and get the old art of Skyping properly and turn your sound down when you come on so that you and I can chat. Very, very important. Right, so what have we got? A shout out to Hayden Fitzpatrick. No bother at all. Uh, Elliot says, Jamie, I thought you were blocked. He's only blocked on Skype. So there we are. We don't mind that. And has everybody shared? It's a general share point. This is something I've just introduced tonight. We're sharing with the rest of the world. So at the moment, it's early days for the program. And it's very important that you share and share and share. If you've got a Twitter account, go on it now and follow at Scotty McClue. All right. All one word there. And uh, who else have we got? Shh, Elliot is telling him. Where did you get the specs, Scotty? Well, Jimmy, these are actually, you'll see a very famous car manufacturer on the side of it, I think. Can you see that? Difficult to turn. Wait to see if you can see it. Can you see a very famous car manufacturer's mark on the side of them? And that'll tell you where I got these wonderful specs. My cousins are from Canada, South Africa, the Transvaal. Well, get them on here. Flip your bonnet, says Innes. No problem at all. Scotty, I'm in late. I've got a note from Mama, says Roy. No problem, Roy. I kind of see it, says Dean Barr. Sorry about that, Dean. And uh, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. We're thinking of getting a, a different camera for the program. And this is why we're collecting. So if you've got a few bob and you'd like to donate to the program, please do so. www.scotty-mcclue.com. You'll see a PayPal there and stick anything in a pound, a five or 50 grand, whatever you like. Here's Beavis calling. Hello, Beavis. Hello, Beavis. Beavis. Hello, Beavis. Hello, Beavis. Dinky do. Dinky do. Hello. What, what's your thoughts on toothbrushes, Scotty? Toothbrushes, I use one twice a day, Beavis. Oh, but don't put me. There you go, twice a day. Now, that's that. Get yourself on Snapchat, Scotty, says Elliot. Is Snapchat big? 
I only go on stuff that's big. You'll get Scotty McClue on Facebook, Facebook Live. You'll get Scotty McClue on Google+. Plus. You'll get Scotty McClue on Twitter. You'll get Scotty McClue on YouTube. You'll get Scotty McClue on LinkedIn if you're a business person. What a bandy Murray, says Jackie Drennan. Fantastic. Great Scotsman and a great credit to this country. Ha 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 ha, says Adam. Nathan... You are an absolute legend, says Nathan. Thank you very much. Uh, don't put me under the same brush, says Ross. <coughs> Thank you. Scotty, there's me telling everyone you start at 10 and then we're running late. Sorry, big man, says Denise. Not at all, Denise. No, no, we start at 10 and you can join us anytime you like. Try and be there at 10 because it's only an hour and it passes so quickly and with so much to talk about and so little time to do it in. Most people use Snapchat nowadays, says Nicola. Well, <laughs> I don't think everybody does. Nicola, I think they're using other things as well. So there we go. Uh, laughing my EO. This is great. It feels like we're back in the days when Scott FM was on, says Louise Sullivan. Great, Louise. That's what we were hoping to get back to because that was probably the most fantastic program. Have a look at all the videos I share on Facebook. And I make no apologies but I do apologize if that doesn't sound strange for all the sharing. But it's very important to get you all started. If you can join me and share, share, share as well, as soon as you see Scotty McClue thing, share it. Fantastic stuff. Remo is watching Remo Pacitti in Australia. Fantastic. And uh, Jack Coates is watching. I've not heard of you since the century days in Gatehead. In Gateshead, says Michael Russell, down with the Geordies. In Gates Head, like that was a great station, mind you. Century Radio in the northeast. Uh, whoa, way, hey, man. And um, I remember uh, being in a pub in Newcastle, and a guy came in and he said, Are you looking at us? I said, How many grammatical errors can you make in one sentence? Right, uh, aha, bye, says Lauren Ald. No problem at all. Can you give my nephew a shout out? His name's Trevor McGregor Thompson. He's up for the next Olympic kayak team. He's only 18 and he's done more than so many of the lazy kids nowadays, says Angie Thompson. Of course I can. Trevor McGregor Thompson, you kayaker that you are. Fantastic. Scotty, a shout out to my brother James Steele, Sir David Steele, of course. What? says Chris Malone. Happening, says Matthew. I used to listen to you every night as a kid on 96.2 QFM, says Sean McBride. That was a great station as well. Fantastic station. So there we are. There is a new station coming back for Central Scotland, and it's a rock station. It's just been awarded its license. So that's fantastic stuff. Um, your mate, Ali Bali, get him to get you on the greatest hits. You're what we need at night, says Michael Russell. Of course. Lauren says, hey, Matthew. Right, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome to you. I'm Scotty McClure. We're live on Facebook Live. This is the big one. This is the one everyone's talking about. This is the one everyone's listening to and the one everyone is watching. Sunday night, 10 o'clock sharp. Share it, share it, spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live just for you. You can Skype us as you want. Camera, ha, ooh, my Scotty, says Dino the Doug. Can you give Maggie a shout out from Basford in Nottingham, says Steve Burrows. Of course I can. Maggie from Basford in Nottingham. Dinky do to you, my docs. Now then, blank checks for Trident. Buckingham Palace, 360 million. I think it's more than that. Is it not 369 uh, or something like that they're looking for? Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, more blank checks while food banks on the rise. Yeah, these are different budgets. The food banks are political. That's the Tories with their austerity, right? What they did was the banks got themselves into the deep doodah. They then went to the government and said, we need bailed out. And the government said, OK, what we'll do is we will rob the people blind and we will call it austerity. So that's what's happened. Um, that's where your food banks come in. There's plenty of money floating about, I can tell you that. You and McIntyre's watching Dinky Doo to you. Can you not stay on longer, says Louise Sullivan. No, Louise, we finish at 11 o'clock. Every day is a school day. 
Uh, £12 per taxpayer for Buck House is Dean Bar. Well worth it, Dean. Absolute bargain. It's our house anyway. It's part of the family silver for the country. The Queen doesn't actually own it. She lives in it as curator, which is good because I wouldn't like to live in it. 463 rooms and it'll be freezing cold. It hasn't been decorated since 1952. So how long's that? Um, 64 years since it was decorated. Roy says, I say what you say. Ha ha ha! Love it, your cat, to be honest. So there we are. Hi, Scotty. Long time no see you, my man, says Robert Abercrombie. Of course, Robbie Proven. Give Sandra Johnson a shout out in Glasgow City Centre. And uh, I was up at Glasgow Toon last night. So there we are. And I never seen Sen. Scotty, what was the name of the radio station you used to have your show on back in the day? Well, I've been on about 30 radio stations, so it could have been Scott FM, it could have been Red Rose Gold, Red Rose Radio in Preston, it could have been Century Radio in Manchester, it could have been Magic Radio, it could have been Hallam FM, it could have been TFM, it could have been Radio City, it could have been uh, City Talk, it could have been, although I contributed to City Talk, it could have been, where else? Oh, stacks and stacks of them. Century in Manchester, of course. And a Century in Nottingham, it could have been that one. Scott FM, that's it, says Tony. Yes, you're right. And Scott FM was without a doubt Scotland's finest radio hour. A tremendous radio station. Here we've got the Skypes coming. Ross is calling in. Hello, Ross. Think you do? You're live on Scotty McClure. All right, Scotty. All right, buddy, how are you? <coughs> there we go. No, no shouting out. We don't want any of that. Uh, we get sick of politics, Scotty. All colours don't represent the people that put them in the position. No, and I was wondering, should we go back to different referenda or referendums? I think it's referenda uh, would be would be the right one for that one. Uh, dinky do, Scotty says Davy Kip Heron. Dinky do to you, Davy Kip Heron. Um, should we go back to our referenda and should the media and the politicians butt out? So, in other words, when we have Indy Ref two for Scotland to decide if Scotland should be independent or not, then you see the politicians can put their case and then leave it at that. And the media have to make sure that they're in parda and that the media do not uh, give an opinion one way or the other. Well handled, says Sean. Thank you, Sean. Appreciate it. Uh, did you just swear there, says Angie? No, Angie, I did not swear. What do you think I said? Hi, Scotty. Can I get a shout out to Jim Barr? Of course you can. That's from Owen Murdoch. Jim Barr, dinky do. A boy shifted a piano for you a few weeks ago, says Cass. Yes, yes, that is wonderful. Who have we got here? Beavis is calling. Hello, Beavis, dinky do. Hi, Scotty. What's your thoughts on the Berghorst brand? I don't have any, to be quite honest with you. you don't <laughs> no, I don't have any thoughts on that at all. Uh, do you mind a Scott FM during your talk show? There was always a guy called with an infectious laugh, and you laughed your head off when he called. Yes, I do, Tony. Tony Hutchison there, I do remember him. Lovely to see you and hear your dulcet tones, Suzanne Carlin. Lovely to hear from you, Anne. A listener, of course, for many years. Uh, Nathan, ha ha ha. Wow, that's loud, says Louise. Sorry about that, Louise. There we are. We need to get our levels sorted out. Um, Elliot says Berghaus. Shout out to Steelmania, says James Steele. Of course, absolutely. BBC bias, Scotty, will be hard to combat in Indy Ref 2. No, you see, I was arguing with somebody about this and suggesting why have we got unionist parties in a Scottish parliament? Hmm? That doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, why have you got a branch office of a Westminster party in a Scottish parliament? It's true, isn't it? So all the Scottish parties should be pro-Scotland and pro-independence. If you're sitting in on a Sunday and you've not got anything to do, get your Facebook at 10 p.m. and chat with Scotty McClue. Great show as usual, Scotty. Now, two minutes, we've got a share point, guys. So we'll be sharing. Here's Roy calling. Hello, Roy. You're live on Scotty McClue. Dink you do. Hello, Scotty. Hello. Hello. Where are you calling from, Roy? It's Roy from Derby. Roy from Derby. We love it. The home of Rolls Royce. 
That's right, Scotty. I was just thinking Buckingham Palace, work experience and all that. Oh, good point. The only thing is a lot of these jobs on these old houses, I mean, Buckingham Palace must be, wait me till I do a calculation. Um, it's over 300 years old. Yeah. It's over 300 years old. And your problem with the work experience, guys, you've got to train them. So a lot of the plaster work and stuff in Buckingham Palace will be lath and plaster and uh, horse hair, wattle and daub. There'll be a bit of horse dung in there, maybe even. <laughs> you know? Well, the government wants to get everybody back to work, Scotty, and there's, there's a lot of work to be done there. And the cornicing, the cornicing, I mean, I remember a time when the Queen was knighting people. I wasn't there to get knighted, but she was knighting people <laughs> in the process, and you have Ina Klein and Acht music, a little knight music, do you like that one, going on in the background. And uh, the Queen's talking away, so what is it you do? Lovely, marvellous. And she's giving them their knighthoods. And suddenly, a massive piece of plaster came down. A piece of cornice, I think it was. Now, these old cornices, as you know, if you're a bit of a, an old house specialist, will be up there. They'll be up there with wires. And they will be in sections. So a section came down. Nobody was hurt. Fortunately, but I think everybody got a bit of a fright and a wee bit of dust about on their dark suits, you know. Yeah. Another thing, Scotty. Honey G, yes or no? Which one? Sorry, say again. Honey G, X Factor. She's through, yes or no? Oh, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm only going to watch the X Factor when I'm asked to go on it. <laughs> oh, okay. What are you going to do, Scotty, when you judge. go on? I'll judge. Okay. I have a massive knowledge of music and drama, so I will judge. Okay, Scott, you have a so, good night, my old chicken. You take care of me, ducks, and we'll catch up soon. And dinky do I'll, hey, I'll see thee. Hey, oh, I'll see thee last, see thee. Right, <laughs> fantastic. Oh, Calling from Derby there. It's something that costs as much to repair. Surely it should be demolished and put the Queen in another residence. No, no, no. Somewhere cheaper for the taxpayer, like a bedsit. Don't be ridiculous, Tess. The Queen has got several residences. Now, some of them are hers. Some of them are hers by default. So there you are. Here's Ross coming. Hello, Ross. Think you do? Are you going to behave? Hello, Ross. Hello. Hello. Are you behaving? Yeah. Good man. We like that. Excellent. Ross is behaving. What did you make of the program Versailles about King Louis, King Louise, King Louis, Louis the Fourteenth, the Sun King, Le Roi de Soleil? Also, the program Victoria. Did you think it was correct as Buckingham Palace was tiny? Now, Buckingham Palace is 463 rooms. And, of course, Victoria was quite unhappy as a child when they moved into the palace. Her mother was the Duchess of Kent. Her father had been the king's brother, the Duke of Kent. And uh, her mother was the Duchess of Kent. And uh, her mother, the very German accent. So uh, Victoria and her mother didn't actually go on very well. When Victoria was born, Lord Conningham and the Archbishop of Canterbury at the time uh, knocked on the door because they used to have to be present at the birth. The Archbishop had to be present at the birth. And uh, Lord Conningham was there and uh, she announced that, uh, oh no, yes, it was when Victoria became queen. Sorry, this wasn't at the birth. This was when Victoria became queen and uh, the Duchess of Kent said, her mother said, and I am the Queen Mother. And they said, no, Mom, you are the Queen's mother. Ooh, that's telling her. So there we go. Now then, uh, who else have we got? No respect, says Rory. No, you're quite right, Rory. They've got no respect. Ross is calling, but Ross, I'm not going to take your call because you're just coming on with silly stuff and playing old bits of Scotty shows and that. And that's just a complete waste of everybody's time. So don't push it or I'll have to block you. Do you agree with the Grand National Horse Race, Scotty? As a matter of fact, Mark, I do not. I love the sport of kings. I love the horse racing, what have you, but I don't agree with the Grand National. I don't like Beecher's Brook. I don't like horses losing their lives. So I'm a bit of a killjoy when it comes to the Grand National. Uh, that's true. You know your facts, says Angie Thompson. Yes, I do. Did she? I, says James McCullen. Why? Happy days, two brothers watching Scotty. Still many at home. My wee brother all about you, Scotty. Years ago, I even made him watch your video from years ago. The video's there. We sold 35,000 of them. I'll tell you what I'm going to work on this week, guys. There's a lot of demand for a ringtone. 
with Scotty McClue with my voice on it. And it goes like this. Your phone rings. It goes ring, ring. And I go, hello there, dinky do. This is Scotty McClue. Can someone answer this telephone, please? Hurry up. I won't tell you again. And um, we'll charge you for that, of course. We'll be able to download them from the website. They'll probably be something like 10.99 or that. People said 50 pounds, but no, 10.99. Scotty, would you ever accept the job of groom of the stool? Says Charles Butler. No, I would not accept the job as groom of the stool because I think groom of the stool might be a different meaning of stool rather than the three-legged variety. It might just be the one-legged variety. You're watching the Survivor series tonight, Scotty. I probably will, Innes. Can everybody share, please? A share point. Share, 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 share. Share Scotty McClue live. Come on, get sharing now. I'm going to hum a bit. I'll take my shoes off uh, and we'll have a sauna. Big Ben is falling to bits as well. It needs done up too. Uh, Big Ben's a fantastic Scott. Can we look around the house? Says Dino the dog. Of course you can. Help yourself. That's potentially the worst ringtone I've ever heard in my life, says Jamie. But people love it, Jamie. So there you go. Horses could die in the flat racing, Scotty. Yes, they could, Steve. I agree with you. Ten ninety nine for a ringtone. Really, obviously a bargain. And um, who else have we got here? I wouldn't even get paid to have that as a. I wouldn't even get paid to have that as a ringtone, says Jamie. Doesn't matter, Jamie. A lot of people like it. So there you go. If you don't like it, then suck it up. Right. Uh, would you ever go into Celebrity Big Brother? Well, I did actually get considered for going into Big Brother before I went down, but because I'd worked in television, they didn't trust me. James Forbes, James Forbes says, 1099 is too cheap, Scotty. Is there a parrot in here? Says Nathan. So there you go. Uh, Michael says, ha ha, Big Ben. 0161 Manny on the map, says Chris Trotter Tasker. Fantastic. What's your opinion? says uh angie thompson on cryogenics i have lots of opinions um i don't like it says adam we don't know what you don't like uh scotty you should do another show on periscope your twitter followers could watch it and share also so there you are i shared a tweet that thirty thousand people saw i thought that was rather good uh steve clark has just shared the video everybody share 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 and after i've gone off long after scotty mcclue has gone off for the week please keep sharing i make no apologies but i do apologize for all the sharing all the time don't get fed up with it because what you're doing is building an audience to make a better program for you and for me we are the people we are the people scotty um thoughts on joanna yes i don't know i'd have to look at that so would you consider um smashing goths at lunch no of course not um i like goths share if you care says right absolutely people do that tremendous don't put me under the same brush says adam the mcgregor's next fight says uh, rory I was watching Rob Roy the other night, and in the um, pub in Rob Roy, there's a fiddle in the background going, la la la, da 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 there you are, H. L. Macdonald of Donash. We are the people, yes, says Robert Abercrombie. What Scotty McClure is doing is building the people's program. This is for you. So, share, 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 share. I don't charge you any money to watch it. You don't have to subscribe to watch it. It does help if you make a donation at www.scotty-mcclue.com. You'll see a little PayPal account there. If you want to send me something, it's big time appreciated. Many of you have been very, very generous. And for that, thank you, thank you, thank you. It goes to improve the show, little bits of equipment. We're going to get a better camera. So there we are, the New York Times, says you and Dinky do. Uh, don't Rob Roy, I'm poor as it is. And we're wondering if the Queen should pay for the palace or if we should pay for the palace. I, of course, think we should pay the path for the palace. Who was the craziest person you've ever had call you on the radio? It was a guy who was absolutely furious, called Brian. And he said, I'm very angry. I said, who's making you angry, Brian? He went, you. 
I said, what have I done? He said, two hours I've been waiting to get through to you on the telephone. And I said, I won't keep you a second longer, Brian, and cut him off. So there we are. Um, George McNeil, you missed the Johnson shout out, says George. Sharing is caring, says Wadge. Of course it is. Share, share, share. We are the PayPal, not the people. So there you go, says Zumarito. What a lovely name, Zumarito. So there we are, Indian F2, yes, 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 says Shug McGinty. Yes, I agree, Shug. Uh, Scotland sent £40 billion down to Westminster last year for them to blow it. Um, Scotty, would you ever go to a sportsman's dinner and do the hosting for the Youth Football Club at St Mirren? Yes, of course I do. I speak at after dinners. I'm speaking on Friday night at a, a big dinner. Scotty McClure is a very, very, very... Uh, well-known ton at after dinners so if you'd like to invite me to speak at a dinner it's never a problem Scotty you uh, I donated because you put your specs upside down and you dabbed I did I put my specs upside down and I dabbed there you go and uh, if you want to send me a few quid that would be lovely are you doing any Christmas light switch ons um, I'm having meetings this week with people that are involved, so I'll be talking to them. I've been looking up on YouTube, and the comments said, you're a teacher, says Dean Barr. Of course, absolutely, done all these things. An opera man, an opera singer, a musician, all that stuff. Radio, television, you name it, Scott has done it. Washed up the dishes in an hotel. Uh, give a shout out, Scotty, you're a good man, says Robert Abercrombie. Chris Malone says, aha! So fantastic. Richard Bonnet and 42 others have just shared. Guys, one more share point. We've only got five minutes left. Gillian Roth dabs better than you, says Jonathan Taylor. I'm sure. Scotty, says Rory McFadgen. Do you charge for public? Yes, well, I do. I mean, you've got to get by sometime, you know. I mean, it's very interesting. Would you go to your account? If you do books, I'll not be paying you right enough. Of course, we charge for public speaking. Sometimes the fees are massive, sometimes they're tiny. It depends on your budget, and it depends if I want to do it, and if you'd like me to do it. Will we ever see Mrs. McClue, says Roy. Well, you never know, Roy. You might. Can you come over to mine tomorrow and speak at my after dinner, says Sean Kelly, after your dinner. Classic Scotty, says Charles McLaughlin. Absolutely, Charles, or Charles McLaughlin. How do you like to pronounce it, Charles? Watch your language, Nathan, you bad boy. Cheers, Scotty boy, says Robert. Not at all, Robert. It's a great pleasure. And there's um, Ross is not too chuffed with uh, with nathan i see on there can we have one more share folks and as i say if you can go on to my twitter account and follow me and retweet stuff only takes a few minutes just go on if you've got a twitter account follow me if you're going on to youtube to look at the scott mcclue youtubes this video will go on youtube after the program it should be ready directly after the program so what i would like you to do is subscribe because I've got quarter of a million people view the YouTubes and I've only got 745 subscribers. Now, even with my arithmetic, that seems a bit strange. All right, bro, says Keelan McDonald. Absolutely, Keelan. Dinky do to you. Say hello to Anne Carlin, who's watching this from her hospital bed. Love, Carlin. Anne. Mwah, mwah. Bless you, darling. Get strong and well. Keep going, Angel. And uh, who else have we got? Uh, there's Sumorito. I love that one. Have a lovely week, big man, says James Grant. You have a lovely week too, James. Thank you for being with us, every single one of you. It's tremendous. We've got three minutes left. I don't have a Twitter. I just feed the birds. Does that count, says Angie? Yes, of course, Angie. Everything counts. And uh, get everybody following Scotty McClure. Also, there's several Facebook pages. So get on. We've got a public page which has got 5,100 and something likes. Go on and like it. All right, big man, says Daniel Chalk. Of course, Scotty, can you tip as the wink, says Jarvis Butler. I can tip you the wink. Uh, so I hope that's a Johnston's of Elgin hat, sir. Look at the quality, Mark. For goodness sake, need I say more? And um, blow Gregor a kiss, says Beth. Don't be ridiculous, my dear. 
Uh, who have we got? Come on, the Rangers, says Glyn. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Right, so I have to say, come on, the Celtic, because we're a balanced programme. Uh, Scotty, what's Twitter again, says David. Oh, it's a uh, social media, David. Dab me, says Daniel. I've just dabbed, Daniel. I've already dabbed, and we're very, very tight for time. What's it? Oh, my goodness, I'm going to have to go. Scotty, one more ringtone. Okay, one more ringtone. Here we go. And the ringtone is ring, ring. Hello, dinky do. This is Scotty McClue. Can somebody get this phone, please? I've told you time and time again. Dinky do. How's that for a ringtone? 10.99. Tweeted you, Scotty McClue, says Roy. Fantastic. What happened at Scott FM, says James McCauley. James, we'll never know what happened at Scott FM. All I know is I didn't cause it. I didn't say anything. I didn't get pushed out or anything like that for these reasons. We think that McClue was just so massive. It was upsetting the radio market for Central Scotland and the competition did not like it. Remember, I had virtually a quarter of a million people listening to me every half hour on a radio station with a 2.2 million possible audience. And I had a quarter of a million. So well over 10% of the whole nation in Central Scotland were watching Scotty McClure. There we are. That wasn't even the same ringtone, says Adam. It was. It's a bargain, says Chick. Says Chick McLaughlin, Charles McLaughlin. And uh, fantastic. I love you, Scotty, says Jimmy. No problem at all. I, I hope the McDonald's are yes voters. Uh, Glencoe Massacre would have sealed that vote for me. The jungle for you, Scotty. Absolutely. Time up already. Not long enough. I have got to go. I say thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you. Please think about going and donating so we can keep improving the program. www.scotty-mcclue.com. PayPal is there and will accept your card, send you a receipt. You want to send us a five or a ten or fifty grand? It doesn't matter. It's so much appreciated. Also, I have to tell you, the investment bankers are very, very interested in Scotty McClue. This is big in the entertainment world. Share, share, share. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Until the same time at next week, 10 o'clock sharp. This is Scotty McClue saying goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of we Tarzan. Au revoir and a cheerio. Woo! Dinky-doo, everybody!